I'm going to start with a positive, and that is to say that as soon as I heard about this film being released, uh, it was the cue for me to finally get off my backside and watch the original trilogy, so I'm very, very grateful for that. And now here we are at the reboot, coming 25 years roughly after the original film, and uh, that in itself is actually a plus point. That's a long enough time uh, to justify having a reboot anyway. And technology has advanced and we've got a whole new generation of audience growing up ready for it, uh, so uh, there's plenty of room to make it worthwhile there. And we've had all kinds of films come in between to give us a new perspective for a strong story. And thankfully the reboot actually does give us that. We get a film that is very much worthy of the name Robocop and the important elements are there and uh, they've been returned to us very very faithfully uh, but we also get a different story it's not just the same old stuff shot on fancier cameras with uh, the benefit of CGI we get the exploration of Murphy's humanity how his relationship with his family is affected and that's really what we should have been given in the disappointing sequels to the original film you also get a proper origin story with the details that the original film didn't bring us. And I thought the approach of the original film uh, to just go straight into uh, a crime fighting story uh, was perfectly justified, um, absolutely fine. It worked as a story and it gave us something worthwhile and then it also left us plenty of room for other aspects to be explored. They really should have been explored in those sequels and they weren't. Thankfully the reboot has come and done that and it's done it very very well. Man of Steel should take note here. This is how you do a reboot, and this is how you do an origin story. You don't just recreate the original material, you do stay faithful to it, but you look for a way of adding to it and giving us a new insight that's still consistent with what we've seen before. So that's the reboot issues addressed. Uh, meanwhile, as an action film in its own right, it's actually very fulfilling as well. There's plenty to enjoy, both on a visual and a cerebral level. There are philosophical elements about Alex Murphy faced with the prospect um, of losing his own body and having all his parts replaced and, and you see him having to deal with that and I also mentioned that those films that have come since and well there are some nice homages to um, the likes of Terminator 2 and uh, to Predator as well as to the original film. We get some really good performances as well. Um, Gary Oldman's brilliant and it's amazing that Michael Keaton's finally back on the screen. I've certainly missed seeing him and he's really really good and uh, Samuel L. Jackson has a very interesting role to play uh, and his part is all about uh, keeping that uh, political element that was in the original films uh, and he does that brilliantly. He's kind of like a Glenn Beck character but there are parts of his role that are very typical Samuel L. Jackson as well. It's really good to see. And then uh, you've got uh, Joel Kinnaman or Kinnaman I I don't know, is he Swedish or American? How do you pronounce it? But his casting was very surprising to me. I, I'd seen him in a few other films a couple of years ago and I thought, okay, he's okay, but why is he getting all this work? And uh, actually here I think he did really, really well, so he, he's, he's justified that now. I really didn't expect to like this film at all. I thought it was just going to be a perfunctory action film that's hijacking the name of Robocop and I couldn't be more wrong. It's not just a really good film, but it's a really good Robocop film as well, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing a whole series of sequels. For those of you who aren't familiar with the core content of my channel, I want to draw attention to a really important charity walk that I'm doing. Uh, the walk starts on Tuesday the 18th of February. I'm doing it with um, a group organised by a young boy called John Joe and uh, he wants to raise money for the Bobby Moore Fund for Cancer Research. So. Uh, Together with him and a whole group of people, uh, I'm going to be walking from South End uh, right across Essex to East London. Have a look at my current channel trailer, that'll give you plenty of information about the walk. And I'm putting a link here so that you can sponsor me if you're able to spare any money, that would be amazing if you could. If you are one of those people who doesn't know my channel very, very well, it might be news to you that uh, yes, I will be doing it barefoot as I do pretty much everything. Excuse the mud, by the way, I had to walk through rather a lot of it just to get somewhere quiet, but don't worry, I'll be washing the mud off before I go back into the cinema, so I won't be ruining any carpets there. And if you're just here for the film reviews, that's fine. You might as well subscribe anyway. I'm gonna be bringing plenty of these to my channel as well. All right, see you soon.